Hey everybody, Mr. Burrell here. And we're going to do homework assignment 12.1, uh, which is about parallel lines. So great. Um, okay. So, let's look at question one. Two lines are said to be parallel if they could be extended infinitely in either direction. And would never cross. Well, you could write the word cross if you want to. I think in class I use the word intersect. Parallel lines have the exact same slope. Alright, so that's our definition of parallel lines. Um, so, well, I don't know why, but year after year, when students see these next three questions, they, like, freak out and think I'm asking them something tricky, but I'm really not. Um, so we have these equations of these lines, and if we had a parallel line, uh, your job is to say what the slope of that parallel line would be. Well, this should be pretty easy, because as it says in our definition, parallel lines have the exact same slope. So in question two, for example, we want to identify what the slope is of that equation. And then we would just say what the slope would be of the parallel line. And I know that seems kind of silly now, but it will make more... Um, we're going to ask a similar question on the next homework assignment, so you'll kind of see where I was headed with that. Hold on, my dog is shivering, so I need to cover him. Is that better? Oh, he's better. Okay, so in question two, remember that the number right next to the x is our slope of a line. And so if we had a slope of any parallel line, we know it would also have a slope of 2. In question 3, the slope is 1 fourth. So the slope of any line parallel to that line is also going to have a slope of 1 fourth. And here we have a slope of negative 3. So if we have any parallel line to that, it will also have a slope of negative 3. Okay, so here we go. Question 5. We need to do two things. We graph this line, we draw a line that's parallel to it that goes through a certain point, and then we write the equation of the new line. So, this is kind of going back to stuff we did way back in first trimester, but it's stuff you've been doing for so long, I hope this is pretty easy. We're going to start at the y-intercept, which is 2, right here. And then a slope of 2 over 7 means we go up 2 over 7, which I think is right here. Or we could also go down 2 and back 7, which is about here. So we can go ahead and draw that line in like that. Um, hold on. All right, now we want to draw a line parallel to that that goes through this point here. Okay? So negative 7, um, th negative 3 is this point right here. And then I want to do the exact same slope that we did before. So up 2 over 7 will put us, I believe, right here. Up 2 over 7 puts us here. There's our parallel line. So this is the part for A. This is part B. And then we write the equation of the new line. Well, that should be pretty easy. It's going to be Y equals, we already know the slope is 2 over 7. And then we have our variable, x, and then plus our y-intercept. Well, our new y-intercept is right here at 1, so or at negative 1. So our new equation is y equals 2 sevenths x plus negative 1. All right, let's go on and do question 7. So question 7, we need to graph 1 fourth x minus 5. So, let's see, we'll come down to negative 5 for our y-intercept, right there. And 1 fourth means we go up 1 over 4, up 1 over 4, or down 1 back 4, down 1 back 4. And there's our line, that's part A. Then, we want to draw a line parallel to that line that goes through the point 4, 2. So, the point 4, 2 is right here. Oh, sorry, this is tricky to do with my stylus. Um, and we also just want to go up 1 over 4, or down 1 back 4, down 1 back 4, down 1 back 4. And there's our line right there. And the equation of our new line is going to be y equals, same slope, 1 fourth x, 
And our new y-intercept is right here at positive 1. So it's going to be plus 1. All right, next. Oh, okay. Well, this is using stuff we did back, um, I think it was two units ago, the point-slope formula. We could totally do that. Um, so we have an equation here, and we want to draw or figure out, without a graph, the equation of the line that passes through this point here. Well, we could just use our point-slope form. That was what we did back in, I think it was homework assignment 10.1, probably. So let's go ahead and do that. So, sorry, that was an awkward pause. Okay, so the equation that we talked about way back in, well, not way back, but last trimester was y equals m parentheses x minus x1 parentheses plus y1. So we can just do that same thing. We know the slope is going to be 2, so y equals 2 parentheses, x1 is going to be 4, so x minus 4, plus 3, and before I can distribute, I need to make sure I take care of this subtraction sign, so we'll do that, and so we're going to get 2x plus negative 8 plus 3, and finally we combine those like terms, and so our equation, our final equation is 2x plus negative 5. All right, let's come over here to equation 11, or question 11, um, we know we're going to do y equals m. Um, m is the slope that's here, but I don't see it, but remember that it's hidden. Just so plain x is the same as 1x. So 1, parentheses x, and then we're going to use minus 5, because that's x1, plus negative 3. And before I can distribute, I need to take care of this minus sign there. And so that's going to be 1x plus negative 5 plus negative 3, which is going to be 1x, um, oh, I'll write it on here, 1x plus negative 8. Um, let's see here. Moving down to question 13, okay. Um, level 3. Well, this is the same, it just is our slopes aren't so nice and clean like they were in level two, but same idea. And if you've got your calculator handy, that's not a problem. Same slope, negative three halves. X minus, here's X one right here. So X minus four. And then we're gonna have plus three. So before I can distribute, let me go ahead and take care of this minus sign right there. So I'm gonna have negative three halves X and then a negative times a negative is a positive, so I know it's going to be positive, so plus. Um, three halves times four. Um, you guys should be using your calculators for this. I think, double check me, but I think that's a six, a positive six, plus three. Combine these two like terms here, and our answer should be negative three halves x plus nine. All right, now... Let me give you a hint for level four. Your hint for level four is we can't use point-slope form that we were using before until we know what the slope is. We don't know the slopes of these equations until we get y by itself. So your job here is to solve for y. Get y by itself so you end up with an equation that's y equals whatever x plus whatever. Because then you'll know the slope and you can plug the new slope or you can plug your slope into your new equation. All right, that's been um, an, epi an episode. I feel like this is an amazing TV show. That was your... Oh, I need to go watch Fuller House. Okay, that was your rundown on this amazing math stuff. I will see you in our next episode. Um, good night.